Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. As was promised, here is a technical hands-on results of the comparison I did for these PDF to Markdown extraction tools, Docklink, Marker and Markitown. In this video, I am going to tell you how exactly I did this comparison, what sort of document I used, what was the criteria and which tool performed how well on which sort of tests. If you don't know what these tools are, please go to my channel and then search with Doglink and you should be able to find all of these videos. Doglink is one of the premier tools to parse documents and export them to the desired format with ease and speed. There are a lot of features around Doglink. For example, it reads popular documents including PDF, Word documents, PowerPoint, images, Excel sheets and stuff. It has got quite a advanced PDF document understanding including page layout, reading order and table structure. Then there is another tool which I covered in this comparison which is Market Down from Microsoft. Market Down is an amalgamation or blend of lot of other tools for converting various files to Markdown for indexing, text analysis and just like Docling, it supports a lot of document formats including PDF, PowerPoint, Excel, images, even audio files, HTML and the list goes on. The third tool which I have covered is Marker. I have covered Marker in the past and I am planning to do another video on it because there are a lot of improvements but even this video which I did around 7 months ago is uh, quite relevant if you are interested. Marker converts PDFs to Markdown, JSON and HTML and it also supports wide range of documents, many languages, removes headers, footers and other artifacts plus it formats tables and code blocks. So pretty good I would say and primarily it is a pipeline for extracting OCR, text and few other things. There are a lot of other tools which I already have covered on the channel like Nougat and uh, there is another one uh, Gorbet which I covered recently but I believe that when it comes to production usage maybe these three are topping the charts at the moment and that is why this comparison which I have done here and the document which I have used for this purpose is the technical research paper from Docklink and the reason why I have selected this document that is it contains a lot of formatting, it contains some scientific notations, it contains some paragraphing images, it contains some tabular data. There you go. So and in different formats and it has some annotations and that sort of stuff. And that is where I have put it in um, for the comparison because the length of the document is nine pages, which is not that huge like hundreds of pages so that it really made it easier to compare it and it has all the ingredients which you normally find in a PDF file. So now you know that which tools are being compared here, what sort of document we are comparing. Now let me tell you a bit more about the comparison which I did. So the system which I have used for running tests is this Ubuntu 22.04 and this is the GPU card which I used at VDRTXA 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM and this was all courtesy Mast Compute who have sponsored the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs so do check them out. So let's go to the comparison. First and foremost, if you just want a TLDR, Docklink is the winner. But uh, stay on and I think you are going to enjoy the comparison. As I said, the, this uh, machine was used for comparison itself where I used that document. And this setup allowed for optimal testing conditions, enabling these converters to utilize GPU acceleration for improved performance. During testing, each of these tools was tasked with processing this 9-page PDF document containing a mix of text, tables and images. The document's complexity was deliberately chosen to push the converter's capabilities, which sort of simulates real-world usage scenarios. In the first column, you can see that we have first commit date, which basically tells you how old the tool is. So you can see that the marker is the oldest tool here. 
and then comes Tokling and then comes the recent one Market Town. Now, then there is a technical uh, requirement where if it requires PyTorch or not. The reason why I have included this is that PyTorch um, requirement sometimes make it makes it harder to install locally, and I understand that we have seen it firsthand when we did our videos here, which you can again check out all three of them on the channel where we have done hands-on installation and hands-on testing. So, but this one you can see that both Dockling and Marker requires PyTorch. So you need to make sure that the PyTorch version is, is compatible with your system, whereas Market Down is not. Uh, requiring that now then it comes for conversion quality Dockling has demonstrated exceptional conversion quality particularly with tables which were accurately preserved and formatted its image handling approach which embeds png images has resulted in increased file size but this trade-off may be acceptable for people who prioritize self-contained documents and i really think that is a plus not a minus Whereas Marker has shown good conversion quality, but has struggled with multi-column pages sometimes, occasionally misplacing or omitting content. Its image handling approach which creates separate JPG files may be preferable for users concerned about file size, but despite this, Marker's processing time was slightly longer than Docklink as you can see at the end column, where Docklink has not only produced the excellent output but also in lesser time. Market down underperformed in conversion quality and lacked table formatting and struggling, uh, really struggled with image handling. Its processing time was also the longest of the three and I made multiple tests around that. So I think market down really needs to optimize but it might be constrained due to the fact that it is a portfolio of different tools blended together. So uh, my verdict again Docklink is a top choice due to its exceptional conversion quality and relatively faster processing time. Um, the only drawback was increased file size due to the embedded images. Marker is a close second that offers good conversion quality but requires separate image files and taking slightly longer to process. Market Town requires significant improvements in conversion quality, image handling and processing speed. So the choice of these tools depend on specific need and priorities such as a file size, image handling, conversion quality and processing speed. Now my uh, suggestion is that don't really become personal with any tool. These are just tools because I have seen in some of the comments on my videos where people are, are not happy that I am covering other tools. Look, these are just tools. Dogling is best today in AI that is not a given. Maybe next week there will be something else. Maybe market down might improve something or some other company comes up with something new. So keep trying it out. Uh, keep checking with your own use case and then act accordingly. But as of today, Dogling is a winner. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know your thoughts because they matter a lot. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.